Hey boardies, welcome to Mass Games, my name is Simon. Today we're doing our setup play and review for the game Ocean Pods. This is for two to five players and takes 20 to 40 minutes. To be honest, it's a lot closer to 20 minutes. In this game, we're going through various oceans of the world. We're going through the coastal areas. We're going to be going through the cold areas, the tropical areas, and the deep areas. And the aim of the game is to get the most points. What's going to happen is you're going to play until someone has 12 points available in their pod, and then we're going to go to the final round of scoring. The way that's going to work is we finish off the round from whoever started. So if you're the last player, you're going to go out like that. What you're going to do is you're going to have six whales out in your ocean, which could include dolphins as well. And let me just do it each side for you. Now, whilst I'm doing this, make sure you check out the other videos in the Mass Games playlist, the Family Mate playlist, amongst many others. Also check out the dice distancing video playlist to see how far dice roll and whether or not you'll need a dice tray or a dice tower. So in this game, you're going to have a number of dice. These are resource dice, food dice for these lovely animals. And if you're playing as a two player, you're going to have three. But with any extra players, you're adding one die per player. You're also going to have a bonus die as well. What you're going to be doing is that first player is going to do the following. They are going to take these dice and roll them and collect one of these resources as well as triggering whatever the bonus die is as well. We also happen to have a boat, which currently means you cannot claim any whale that is in a coastal region. So no orcas in this instance, no uh, humpback whales, and in this case, these are all available. So what you're gonna do is also chuck out the relevant resources. I'm just leaving that a shot for the time being. So if I happen to be player one over here, what I can choose to do is take one of these resources, but we do have some plastic as well. And we're also gonna have some objectives to work with. So everyone's gonna have a secret objective. These are ones down here. You're gonna shuffle them up and deal one per person. So we're gonna have one of those. Somebody else is gonna have one over here. I'm gonna have a secret look at mine. In this case, you've got to collect at least two dolphins. These are not orcas from the pod, okay? So I need to collect two dolphins. So somewhere or another, I need to get myself some of these. At the minute, these are available. So based on what I've got here, I probably wanna take myself a fish. So I look in this little box here, which I normally would sort out and take a fish, and what I'm gonna do is just leave it in my pile, which can be as big as it likes, okay? Now, there's various other things that can trigger here. You can get twice the amount, so I get two fish, I can get a wild, anything I like, I can re-roll as many dice as I like, and there's a couple of those, and there's the plastic one. Now, plastic means if there happens to be three at any time in the pool, then everybody loses. Aside from that, what you can do in your turn is ultimately do the following. You're gonna roll those dice as the first and active player, and you're gonna pick a die, and then what you're going to do is you gain those resources or take a piece of plastic if there was one already here. Again, there wasn't until this appeared. So this is gonna appear, and I could take this or take one of these resources. In this case, I took a fish. Then the next player, so player two, can take what's remaining. They could take a piece of plastic, or maybe they take a seal, a seal resource, okay? Because orcas want seals. Then what's gonna happen is in a two-player game, that would end the round because right now, as we can see, we cannot claim anything. There's nothing here with just one resource presently. So this moves down a spot and we're still currently in the coastal zone. Now player two is gonna take those three dice and that bonus die, roll them. And in this case, I don't know, they take two things. So right now we can see this is available. So they could choose to take one fish and one crab and now they can actually take those resources. They're claimable and then take this card as well. And now they've scored that. We are now going to have another card come out, which in this case happens to be a spinner dolphin, of course, good for me as well. And then what's going to occur is it's going to be players one turn to pick from what's remaining. That again will then trigger the end of that turn and that round, and they're going to go back round again. And of course, eventually this might end at the bottom. Next turn, it's going to come round again. That is the game. That is Ocean Pause, again from UK Games Expo 2023 by Molinarius Games. Highly recommend this game, a 7.7 out of 10 for me. Very much enjoy it. I like the fact that everybody wants to get some of the dice. The fact is you're working towards getting 12 points. So this person's already got two. So there are, or you know, just over a fifth or just under a fifth away there, if sixth in fact. And of course you can have some bonus points going on here. If at the end of the game you've got zero to one of these, it's worth one point. If you have two, it's worth two points. Three to four, it's worth three points. And if you happen to have five or more, that's worth a few more points as well. So that's how the game goes. You have different objectives, lots of variety here. I've sleeved it. So this is going my sleeving playlist too. And just my own reference, this happens to be some standard sleeves preferring potentially over the premium ones for at least for this particular game. Highly enjoyable, beautiful artwork, lovely to look at, very easy thinky game in terms of a filler rating game. Doesn't take long to play, different layout each around here, lovely table presence and you can see I'm using a, a play mat here as well. 
Any questions, do let me know in the comments of best on YouTube. This does get shared. Please do like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Let me know in the comments of best on YouTube. Make sure you like and head over to Facebook, join the discussion there. Enjoy the photos over on Instagram, please follow along. And lastly, listen to the podcast. Support the channel via Patreon and via the description on YouTube. You can also head to Linktree, where there are occasionally competitions, but they are time sensitive, so they do disappear. Thanks for watching, but for now, back to the table.